Hello, welcome aboard. Today we are flying in this Airbus A321 Neo on this specific Neo variant. It is going to be the uh, CFM Leap 1 Alpha engine. So the Neo is the newest generation of the Airbus A320 family. And basically they took the old engines and they hung even bigger engines. So these are bigger, more fuel efficient engines than before. So today we are flying on Vatsim indeed. And so uh, just so what happened last time doesn't happen again, uh, we're gonna get start set up quickly here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on over to the overhead panel, introduce power to the aircraft. And then uh, turn the display brightnesses up. And one thing is it's going to be a little laggy, the scenery. So we're actually starting off at O'Hare right now. O'Hare scenery has a tendency to be a little laggy in some spots. So after we take off, it should be fine. Um, now we'll need radios, and then we'll need uh, to start the uh, battery switches, and then we'll go ahead and start aligning the IRSs, so wait for the battery light to go out. Battery light out, and we'll do two and three. Uh, crew oxygen on, turn off econ flow, uh, external power is on. Uh, let's beacon switches to auto, wing lights on, nav slash logo lights on, emergency lights on, no smoking signs on, and passenger si seatbelt signs are on. Perfect. Now, I am going to make sure that my flight plan has been filed, and it has been filed, so... Um, okay, <clears throat> so our routing today is going to be, we are American 243, and we'll be flying from KORD direct to, um, let me pull up Sim Toolkit Pro, uh, Pumpkin, Pumpkin, Nido, Delon, Ronic. Disconnected from chat. Uh, let's see, test. Uh oh. Looks like I'm disconnected from chat. <laughs> Uh, that is embarrassing. Let me make sure I can actually read the chat. So let's open Twitch on my phone. Ah, there we go. And then if I do test message here, yeah, you guys can see it. Perfect. Okay. Um, back to the flight plan. So pumpkin, ronic, camera, and then the killer three arrival, KMSP. Okay, and then so let's set up our passenger load today. So if we open up the ISCS, um, Passengers on board, we have 203 passengers on this wonderful flight to Minneapolis. And our cargo is 0 0.5, so we're aiming for 0 for 155.6. So let's distribute a little better. So we'll throw about 600 pounds in the back. Okay, and our fuel, we need 16.8, so 16,800 pounds of fuel. 
So now our fuel is set. Let's double check. We've got 16.8 right there. That's perfect. Now the next order of business is we need to uh, go ahead and uh, tune into ADA. So 135.4. So that'll be 135.4. One three five point four. Okay. O'Hare International Airport eight is information Lima zero three zero seven Zulu. One two seven zero at one two gust two zero. Visibility minor. Ceiling one thousand two hundred overcast. Temperature two. Two point minus one. Altimeter two nine or seven two. Arrivals expect vectors ILS runway 27 left approach, ILS runway 27 right approach, ILS runway 28 center approach. Simultaneous approach is in use. Read my call runway hold short instructions. Departures expect runways 22 left, 28 right from November 5, 9750 feet available. Arrivals expect vectors ILS runway 27 left approach. ILS runway 28 center, runway hold short instructions. Departures expect runways 22 left, 28 right from November 5, 9750 feet available. North is to airmen. Runway 4 left, 22 right closed. Runway 9 or center, 27 center closed. Pilots use caution for bird activity in the vicinity of the airport. There is bird activity. Use caution for men and equipment at numerous sites on the field. There is Central to icing right facility procedures in effect. When ready to taxi, contact ground metering. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Lima. Information, Lima. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and tune into ground now. So the ground frequency is, um, actually I want to double check. Is it, is metering one to 1.75? I actually don't know, one to one point. One, two, one. Chicago ground, American 243 looking for IFR clearance to Minneapolis. American 243, O'Hare, give ground a call, Point Niner, he'll be able to help you. Oops, sorry, we'll head over to Point Niner, American 243. Okay, it is, it was, uh, point niner. Oh, here, ground, check blue, 1989, uh, exit or push back from Kilo. Chicago ground, American 243, with information Lima looking for IFR clearance to Minneapolis. Record 243 O'Hare ground, clear to Minneapolis Airport via O'Hare 6, departure director's pumpkin, Dennis Fall, Columbia City, departure on 125.00, squawk 3241. Could you repeat the departure frequency for 243? Departure 125.00. Alright, American 243, we're cleared to Minneapolis via the O'Hare 6 departure, radar vectors to pumpkin, climb via the SID. Uh, departure frequency one two five decimal zero zero. We'll squawk three two four one for American two forty three. American two forty three back clearing runway uh, tweet right on November five for departure. Contact ground on one two one point nine zero runway. All right, we'll expect two eight right at November five. We'll give point nine or a call when we're ready. American two forty three. Hi Honda. Chicago ground November four two four Tango Golf radio check. November 424 Tango Golf, you follow the five. Thank you. Okay. Be advised, your call sign is showing November 31, Lehman Romeo. 
flight level. Oh, Roger, Roger, quick, thanks. Chicago ground good, even at Delta 4467 on the ground in Chicago at the Echo Gates, which will clear to Minneapolis as filed. Ah, we got another guy flying. Delta 4467 here, ground clear to Minneapolis Airport, video here, 6 departure, radar vector, set pumpkin, then it's filed, climb via said departure Same on 125.00, squawk 3104. Uh, takeoff 2804. Right? 3104. Affirm. All right, we are clear to Minneapolis by O'Hare six departure. Uh, Raider Wretch's pumpkin is file. Come by the said. Departure frequency is one two five point zero. Squawk three one zero four. Delta forty four sixty seven. We back correct runway uh, two eight. We're out in November five for departure. Contact round one to one point nine. Are we ready? All right, runway two eight two eight right for departure at November five. Contact round point seven five. Have a good night. See ya. Uh, wait. Chicago ground, Solaris 2590, information Lima, request IFR clearance. Okay, that was two at once. Uh, say again, one by one. Delta 565 is taxing Zulu, gonna hold short of 9 center. Delta 565 over here at ground, uh, continue taxing via Zulu, left on uniform, tango, and safe parking. We don't navigate today. Send us where you want, but we'll take a left on uniform. Okay, Delta 565, uh, cross runway 27 center, continue to pass via Zulu, uniform, tango, Alpha 7, left turn Alpha to the gate. Okay, we'll cross um, 27 center, then we'll go Camera. left turn uniform, then I believe it was tango 7, uh, then Alpha 7 to the gate for Delta 565. Okay, insert. All right. Chicago Center, Solaris 2590, Information Lima, request IFR clearance. Solaris uh, 2590, you're here, ground, expect for your route. Chicago ground, good evening, Air Union 500, heavy. Uh, golf course, short of November. Aero Union 500 heavy here, ground state parking. Ah, Aero Union. Northeast cargo ramp. And yes, they do. Aero Union 500 heavy, uh, Tassie via left turn here. November. Right on Echo Echo, Bravo, Golf Tree. Hold short runway 27 left. And we'll review the arrival once we're in. Okay, so. left on November. Right on Echo Echo, Bravo, Golf 3, all short of runway 27 left, Air Union 500 heavy. And acknowledged, call me through the menu when you are ready. Chicago yes. Ground, American yeah. 730, requesting IFR clearance to Minneapolis as filed. Delta or American 730, be advised there. there's a similar call sign, Delta 730 and American 730. American 730, clearance on request number, number 2. And ground United 549, spot Charlie 29, clearance to O'Hare, or clearance to Minneapolis. United 549, O'Hare, ground, clearance on request number number three. Roger. Uh, I kind of want to double check. Ground United 1504, information Lima, clearance to uh, Harper, Bradley, Windsor Locks, Connecticut. All aircrafts requested clearance hold. Um, stand by for like two minutes. <laughs> I think he said one two one point nine. Or I'm a little worried he didn't. So, but anyways, let's get the APU started. APU system is coming online. All right, it's ready for start. Hit start. APU coming online. Oh, uh, diff, so diff strips a secondary flight plan when you copy the active, diff strip, so init B, now, our zero fuel weight is 155.6, and our center Chicago code Brown, is 20. Chicago Brown, 
Uh, the 3676 Ground Street Parking. Park straight ahead, if that's okay. Uh, taxi to the nearest plate. If you had pilot discretion. Thanks, you're on 3676. Diff strip performance. Let's calculate our V figures. So. Uh, Fox Solaris, the 2590, disregard the second PC. One five two. Okay, uh, um, yeah, I saw that uh, for a chat. Um, I'll, so I'll, I'm standing by Solaris 2590. Flex 1058 degrees Celsius, flaps 1 departure. Okay. APU is available, APU bleed coming online, packs can go off, switching over to APU power. Let's go ahead and flick the dome lights off. Oh, hello. That's a real pilot by the way. Oh, we've got a lot of traffic, okay. Um, one thing for sure. Okay, who else is calling for clearance? We wanna... United 1504 to Bradley. United 1504 here, ground X for PDC. Yeah, we take that, please. Okay, um, let's go ahead and request pushback. So, start pushback. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Beacon lights coming on. O'Hare ground, Delta 730, ready to taxi. Okay, the jetway is heading back. Delta 730, contact ground 121.9 for test duty. 121.9, uh, get it. Uh. Strata United, 547 to the EDC, you got a squawk in 2000. Would you like us to do that or assign a squawk code? Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Um, I don't know how to ask this, but do I call the other guy for a taxi? Oh, here, ground American 243, ready for push and start. Yeah, American 243, push and start on news. Question contact ground point 75 when ready. I will contact point 75 when ready for 243. Alright. Chicago ground 42. Start engines. So, 121.75. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and start these engines. So, engine start, and then we'll start engine two. Okay, I'm gonna go outside because it sounds really nice. So, it sounds like a miniature GE90.
Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice sounding engine. Start our main clock. I heard the click, that means it's supplying power and now it's available. So we're going to start engine one. Our PTU is running. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Love that noise. All right, we got a good start on engine one. Okay, and then we'll probably. Power is 120.75. Disconnect because we got two good engine starts. X coming online. AP blade offline. AP blade coming off. Uh, speed brakes so are flat. And bypass One. pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. O'Hare ground, American two four to three, ready for taxi two eight right at November five. O'Hare ground, runway 28 right at November 5, taxi via Alpha, Alpha 15 and November. Alright, well, to 28 right, uh, November 5 via Alpha, Alpha 5, November for American 243. American 243, that's Alpha, Alpha 15 and November. Oh, correction, Alpha, Alpha 15, November for American 243. Okay. So, wow. Uh, we are going to go all the way down here, down here, Alpha 15. Oh, clearance just logged on. Okay. And then all the way down to November 5. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the roll. So we're going to need to make a right turn up here. JetBlue over there. I think JetBlue does in fact operate out of Terminal 5. I know uh, Frontier does. Oh hey ground, American 730 is uh, ready for push and start. American 730 push and start, your discretion, give me a call. This frequency for taxi, expect 28 right and number 5 for departure. To it right, number five for departure and taxi at own discretion. Or push on own discretion. American 732. Top altitude 5000. Hair ground, United 549, spot Charlie 29. Ready to push and start. At our 549 ground push and start approved, uh, expect 28 right November 5 for departure. Okay, push and start approved, 28 right November 5, United 549, we have Lima as well. Copy thing. Alright, let's go through our before takeoff checklist, auto brake max, cabin check, takeoff config, normal. You can see there's a good amount of traffic here at O'Hare. There's one aircraft right up there as well. <coughs> Shout out Baron Delta 4437, ready to check?
Delta 7 30, contact tower 120.75, good day. 12075 for Delta 730, good day. Chicago ground, Delta 4467, ready for push start. Delta 4467, push start, your discretion. Roger. Alright, here's Alpha 15. Chicago ground, Solaris 2590, ready for taxi. Solaris 2590, O'Hare ground, uh, for now, southbound, pop a pop across, runway 27 center, hold short 27 left, more for you there. Taxi via Papa Papa, cross 27 center, hold short 27 left, Solaris 2590. Solaris 2590, I might be able to get you 27 left departure if you can accommodate that. Awesome, thanks, Solaris 2590. Lucky. <laughs> hey, if you see me taxi, it actually does have a big favor. <laughs> Are you going to try to kill you tonight, Kenny? Hawks, is that you? It's Welch. Oh, well, okay, you know how bad I am at taxiing. This, this is worse than MSP. Roger. I gotta admit. <laughs> oh, hey, ground, American 730 is ready for taxi. American 730, you're here, ground, runway 28 right, November 5, taxi via Alpha 15 and November. Oh, look at that. I got some arrivals. Two-way rides, uh, taxi fire, Alpha 15, November, American City, Freezer. Great, 243, contact tower 120.75, good day. 2075 for American 243, good night. And American 730, just confirmed that was runway 28. It's 2-0, runway 28, Santa Clara to land. Cleared runway 28, Santa Clara to land. American 16, 27, good evening. It's uh, 5,000 feet, 170 knots. Delta 730. Fly turn left heading 180, wind 27012, gust 20, and wait 22 left, clear for takeoff, expedited traffic on a 4 mile final. Left 180, uh, runway 22 left, clear for takeoff, traffic on a 4 mile final behind me for Delta 730. Are the aircraft calling me? Say call sign. American 1627, OHL, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, United 1243, right Papa, short golf golf. Right Papa, short golf golf for United 1243. Cactus 298, contact ground point 9. Over to the ground, Cactus 298. United 1243, disregard. O'Hare Tower, American 243, holding short November 5, 28 right, ready to go. Clear for departure at November 5, American 243 will fly runway heading and we'll stay on this frequency. Delta 730, contact departure, good day. Departure, good day, Delta 730. Strobe lights departure. on. Two, eight, right. All lights on. United 1243, left tango, hold short, runway 28 right. Hey, Zeta Stargazer. I, I just messaged the Discord, so that's all, but. 
You might have to hang tight. I might Tower have to American miss all the names because Chicago is very busy. American 162070, have a gate for tonight. Um, departing, uh, not arriving. That, uh, that, that, that wasn't for you, American 730. It's American 1627. Alright. It's going well, though. We're American just 1627, have a gate for tonight. Uh, no. American 730, runway 28 right at November 5, line up and wait. Line up and wait, uh, 28 right, American 730. Chicago Tower, Solaris 2590, information Lima, holding short, 27 left, ready for departure. V1, rotate. Solaris 2590, O'Hare Tower, runway 27 nice left, hold short, traffic on a 3 mile final. Pause rate, gear up. Holding short, Solaris 2590. Beautiful departure. American 243, turn right heading 360. Right heading 360, American 243. American 243, contact departure, good day. Departure, American 243, good day. American 730, fly runway heading, runway 28 right at November 5, clear for takeoff, remain this frequency for another turn. Fly runway heading and clear for takeoff and will remain on this frequency, American 730. November 9 Alpha Papa, contact ground point 9 Chicago Departure, American 243 with you, 3500 for 5000. Second 243, Chicago Departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 15000. Climb maintain 15000, American 243. Okay. Sir, getting hectic. Air Canada 761, clear of 22 left on taxiway Delta. Air Canada 261, Roger, and uh, where are you parked? Uh, anywhere's fine. Air Canada 261, Roger, taxi to the ramp uh, via Yankee Crossway 3 on left, through center 3 on right. Okay, what is this plane doing? I need a. Uh, say again for Air Canada 761. Canada 761, cross uh, taxi ramp via Yankee, cross runway 31 left, 31 center, and 31 right. Taxi via Yankee, uh, cross 31 left, 31 center, and 31 right, Air Canada 761. I don't like what this autopilot's doing. I'm just gonna hand fly for now. American 243, Chicago departure, you with me? American 243 with you, Chicago Departure. American 243, Chicago Departure, radar contact, Convey, 15000, clear direct pumpkin. Alright, 15000, direct pumpkin, American 243. Delta 730, Chicago Center, Blacker than usual. It's because it's uh, it's because we're flying through clouds right now, as you can see. Okay, I turn the landing lights. Departures American seven three zero with your flight level zero five zero. American two forty three Chicago C correction. American two forty three contact Chicago center one three four point eight seven. 3487 for American 243. 3487. Departures, American 730 with your flight over 05. Chicago Center, American 243 with you, 10,000 for 15,000. American 243, Chicago Center, good evening, climb and maintain, level 360 over zoom normal speed. Level 360 over zoom normal speed, American 243. Delta 255, contact Chicago, approach 125.0, good night. 
Okay. Yeah, sorry, Z Zeta Stargazer, I can I can talk a little more freely now that now we're out of that chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I responded yet. It's a lot. American 1086 crossfire at maintain. It's a lot blacker right now. It's because of clouds. There's a, three zero zero nine seven. Only raining in real life. Crossfire at maintain nine thousand. Maintain three zero zero nine seven. I mean, during the departure, you could see we had a we could see all the city, the ground lights, but now that we're above the clouds, we won't be able to. Let me see if the weather radar actually will work. I doubt it will. Weather radars never always worked for me. But it's worth a shot. But how? So our flight is headed to Minneapolis. We're going up to Minneapolis. There's like five other planes leaving O'Hare going to Minneapolis. Rogers, block 1350. Oh, look at that. We're out of the clouds. You can kind of see some more. See a little better. So yeah, that's, uh, we're, we're heading off to... I guess, I don't know if you want to post in the messenger saying that I'm live, but... Yeah, yeah, kind of cool. Off to Minneapolis. There's going to be a lot of traffic there, so I'm... I'm kind of happy we're kind of the first ones out. Delta 1050, can we get the transition out? I need to get the Aurora runway. Delta 10, they just accepted the handoff, so contact Chicago Approach 125.0, they'll have for you. 125.0, Delta 1050, thank you. Sense 730, with your flyable 130. American 243, make sure I respond. Because <laughs> if I don't, <laughs> they're going to get mad at me. American 730, Chicago Center, get unique climb, maintain, follow 360, resume normal speed. 360, resume normal well, speed, American 730. Back in the because we can't see the ground again, so. It's cloudy. Sir 5, this is the confirmed squad 1053. The United 605 is just about to say that squawk 1350, 1350. Oh, Roger, 1350. JetBlue 1989, contact Minneapolis Center 133.4. 133.4 for 1989, have a great night. You too. Okay, so the next frequency is going to be 133.4. Alright. We're coming up to our transition altitude here. So transition altitude in the entirety of the United States is uh, 18,000 1, feet. And there we go. We'll go ahead and pull this and we'll be standard Barrow. We are missing some insightful commentary. <laughs> Sorry. So here, I'll, I'll try to fill in the empty void here. So, um, Asian 155, just set up maintain, follow 280. Sorry, I'm just making sh sometimes I might pause to make sure I don't miss, uh, don't miss any radio transmissions for me, but, United 605, better contact, 22 miles um, east. So, the way alert. the aircraft tells altitude is via pressure, so there's a thing called static, um, ah, JPW Life, hello. Buddy can join in. So, the way, um, and at this point, most planes, or basically like all planes, are able to tell their altitude is via the pressure. So, um, and of course, pressure kind of varies Chicago as you, in, based on weather. Delta 730, I'm so eventually gonna have to you have to calibrate it at each airport. So it's given in this thing called an ATIS. ATIS is like gives you we the weather. It's like the weather report for pilots. And you can still hear me while I'm talking over these people, right? Just making Agent sure. 155, disregard. But I'll keep on talking. So, at each airport, you're given an altimeter setting. And then, um, so if I pull this, you know, I can set it to different pressures. So like this is in inches mercury, for example. And you can see, as I move it, I can kind of move the altimeter around. Okay, yeah, you can still hear me. 
And when I pull okay, standard, Roger, uh, standard is 299.2. So once you're above 18,000 feet, so you can hear that O'Hare altimeter is 29075. So Roger, maintain 330 knots, crossfire, 9,000, yeah, it's 6 So that's the altitude calibration, if you will, for O'Hare right now. And then once you're above 18,000 feet, it's... Um, Usually most, that, uh, most major line, so. commercial aircraft have oh, yeah, we, uh, we got the weather for we'd, uh, like to request, uh, Oh, look at that. Air and air oh, never mind. We got cloud coverage. So, yeah. November so, so I think we've got two people watching right now. Zeta Stargazer and JPW Life. How are both of you doing? I think I asked it, but I never got a response. I probably also got sidetracked, so... How are you guys doing? And number four, Christian, number two, four, you want the RNAP to three, one, or one, three? I will take the RNAP to three, one. And then once we'll get up to cruising altitude, we'll go ahead and brief the arrivals, so... Number two, four, Romeo, clear, direct, Gorin. Good, Turn JPW forward, Life is doing good, uh, that's good to hear. Lower. Excellent. Love to hear that. Number 24, we're able to set a maintain 3,000. 3,000. Center, uh, this is United, you know, and he had a bit of issues with the autopilot, so I'm now off the arrival, is it possible, are these busy, is it possible to get factors? Oh, United 1180 guy. Squawk, uh, mode Charlie for me, please. Let's zoom out here. So, if we look over here, this is our ND. ND is navigation display. United 1180, fly And you'll see this arrow. So, these are different waypoints. This is our course. And Roger. Descend. Maintain 9,000, I'm heading 270, maintain 300 knots. You like to have any thanks a lot. Number 24, Romeo, the Grinnell altimeter to 3002. 3002, you can have number 24. Yeah, 605, please repeat the altimeter for Chicago, so I'll go right down here. United 605, the O'Hare altimeter 2975. Let's see if we can actually hear a uh, Minneapolis 135. 155, what are you directing you now? No, we can't really hear him, so that's fine. <laughs> Agent 155. Asia. Agent 155, leave my airspace to the south. Indianapolis Center is offline, but Kansas City is on. Radar service terminated, frequency change approved. Good flight. Asian. A E E 155. What is that? What airline is that? United 264, Chicago Center, good evening. Oh, Asian, like A, E, G, A, M. Good evening, okay. United 1976, level 330, gotcha. 35 West. This guy, Asian 155, United is flying Center, to St. Louis. Agent 155, I don't have time to reply to that message, but uh, leave my airspace is south, Indianapolis Center is offline, radar service terminated, frequency change approved. Oh, uh, <laughs> before we forget, seatbelt signs off. Oh yeah, Zeta Stargazer, if you're still here, you can, I don't know if you can see, we're flying a different plane right now. 7.30, that's pretty blooming on your back. Roger that. Chicago Center, Solaris 2590, information, Lima 13000, and climbing direct, Badger VOR. Solaris 2590, Chicago Center, good evening. Uh, are you able to accept any higher than 14,000? The MBA along uh, one of the portions of your arrival is flight level 180, so that 
what you filed is not going to work if you can only go up to 14. Uh-oh. Oops, I missed that part. Yeah, I can get up there. It's just going to take me some time because she's, she's pretty weak above uh, 15,000. Uh, Swear's 2590. United 773, you contact Chicago Approach 125.0. Solaris, uh, 2590, doesn't matter to me, um, but yeah, we, we have to get you to file level 180 if you're going to use that arrival that you filed. Okie dokie, um, am I cleared to fly level, fly level 180 then, Solaris 2590? Solaris 2590, affirm, climb and maintain, file level 180, and I'll show that as your final. Alright, climb and maintain, flight level 180, sorry about that, Solaris 2590. No problem, I was just making sure that we were on the same page. Alright, well that guy, what is he flying? Because I think he was also the guy, like, he has some difficulty taxing Agent 155, on the ground, so. A-Firm, you're in Indianapolis Center's airspace right now, so they're offline, so radar service terminated, frequency change approved. I think this guy... American 211, Chicago Center, yep. Yeah, 211. American 211, Richard. Chicago Center, do you know the 4467-12000? So we're almost there. Uh, we've got about 4,000 feet to go until we're cruising altitude, so... Delta 730, recycling transponder, squawk 1345. We're climbing. Let's take a look at our beautiful... Oh, hold on. Yeah. Our massive Neo CFM Leap 1A engines. And look at that wing. That light there, that looks nice. So unfortunately, I, I, so, uh, Zeta Stargazer in the chat will know that last flight the lights were all kind of dark, so I actually went ahead and fixed it. And now the problem is, uh, there's clouds, so you actually can't really see it. But I've done test flights, and it's significantly, like, Better, so. November 24, Romeo Cross, Gurn, at or above 3,000, oh, clear to RNAV, Romeo 3, You can kind of see the outlines of the clouds, like here's one big cloud, yeah, here's another big cloud, you can see pokes of the <laughs> ground through, but United 1180, contact Chicago Approach 125.0, we've got a lot of cloud coverage, so... I'm also looking at the... Approach, you approach, you know, 1180, we'll let it know I'm on the heading. Thanks for your help, and have a good day. No problem, I'll see you later. Hold on, let me see if there's a way to turn down the vault, because I think I'm hurting everyone's ears right now with how loud Delta 4467, fly present heading for now, climb and maintain bubble 340, uh, inspectors for traffic. Alright, just resume. Yeah, we got an aircraft 30, just about our 11 o'clock, according to our navigation. Delta 4467, A-Firm, so just fly your present heading. And keep the climb going. Uh, traffic is at your 11 o'clock at about 5 miles northwest bound, climbing through 17,000. One thing I I wish these volumes were. Alright, yep, we got a monitor system, or our traffic. We'll keep an eye on it. Not just passing 16,000, but 3 more. But continue. some so aircraft that does work. Roger, uh, some aircraft that does work. About 5 this miles, you can expect the red camera. Alright, Roger. Oh, wow, we've got thick the cloud coverage across the Midwest right now. Like, I can see the outlines of the clouds right now. United so. 264, descend by the Banky 6, arrival over here, landing west, the altimeter 2975, maintain 300 knots in the descent. I should probably turn off our aircraft wing lights. United 264, descend via the Banky 6, arrival. Center, good evening, unit 1145 at the 11 45, 000. Alrighty, we're got 1,000 to go here. United 11 45. We're climbing Chicago at 1,000 feet per minute, so we'll good be evening. there around. We're maintaining level 350 over normal speed. 350 over normal speed, United 1145. Chicago United 150410 for 15,000, direct dumping. United 1504, Chicago Center, good evening. Climb and maintain, follow 350, over is in normal speed. Follow 350, normal speed, United 1504.
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are... United 1976, decided that pilot's discretion, maintain 15,000, the Madison altimeter. We're hitting our cruise altitude momentarily. Hey, hey, PD down to 15,000, United 1976. Chicago Center, uh, 1414 on golf. Climbing through 14,000 for 15,000. Air China, 856, leave my airspace to East Cleveland Center's offline. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. 856, thank you. United 549, Chicago Center, is that you checking in? It is uh, 9.3 for 15,000. United 549, climb and maintain. Funnel 380. Resume normal speed. 380 normal speed, United 549, thank you. Can you guys still hear me? <laughs> I don't know if anyone's still here. I don't know. <laughs> Chicago Center, uh, did you hear my last transmission for 424 Tango Golf? November 424 Tango Golf, Chicago Center, I didn't catch it. What was it? I'm right, just checking with you at 15,000 for 424 Tango Golf. November 4, 24 Tango Golf, climb and maintain, level 450, resume normal speed. Up to 450, normal speed, 424 Tango Golf. November 4, 24 Tango Golf, confirm your direct D bank. Direct D bank for 424 Tango Golf. America 243, just to maintain level 340. Say again for American 243. America 243, just to maintain level 340. Just to maintain level 340 for 243. American 730, just to maintain level 340. 340, American 730. Alright, we're starting Double our descent. 4467, are you direct camera now? Somewhat of a descent. Did you say Camino? Delta 4467 negative. Are you direct Cama now? Yeah, we're direct Cama right now. Alright, I don't remember giving that to you, but okay. <laughs> oh, well, we had it in our flight plan, but okay, alright then. Do you want to just continue? Delta 4467. Yeah, that's okay. I just had you on that heading for a reason, but it, it should be okay now. Just continue on what you found. Okay, we'll just continue. America 1086, contact Chicago approach 125.0. 125.0, okay. Good day. United 605, reduce speed 250 knots or less. 5, reduce speed 250 knots or less, United 605. Beery. Oh, it's not to scale. I was freaking out. Beery. Um, Bobby. Robbie. Cable. Zazing. So we'll, we'll work on our arrival here. So let's American go on. American 243, contact Minneapolis Center 133.4. Good night. 3340 for American 243. Good night. Minneapolis Center, American 243 with you at flight level 340. American 243, Minneapolis Center, Roger. I expect direct Minneapolis in about two minutes. All right, we'll expect a direct to Minneapolis in about two minutes, American 243. Okay, a direct to Minneapolis. Center, Delta 69, 11 for 17, no icing in the climb. Delta 669, Minneapolis Center, Roger. Climb and maintain flight level 310. JetBlue 1989, contact Minneapolis approach 124.7, good night. 124.7 for 1989, good night. Mooney 9 or 8 Papa, contact Minneapolis approach 124.7, good night. 124.7, my name Papa, thanks a lot, good night. Good night. Yep. Sun Country 87, verify your direct Omaha airport. Sun Country 
So, since he said direct to Minneapolis, it's kind of scaring me. Okay, I just want to set a waypoint at Minneapolis there ahead of time. Okay, Minneapolis Center wants us to go direct. Minneapolis Tower 126.7, so we'll get ready for that. So we'll go ahead and dial in that frequency 126.7. And make sure I'm not having a hot mic here. So this isn't a long flight at all. We're already soon to start our descent so and unfortunately it's very cloudy so you can't really see the nice scenery but once we get below the cloud cover i think it'll look spectacular but it's a very cloudy day today So he said he was. We were should have been expecting a direct to Minneapolis, but uh, don't know when that's actually happening. Let's uh, look up the Minneapolis meter. So. Uh, winds 330, so it's very likely that we will be going to... Let's open 10-9. Okay, so we open 10-9, 330. So it's likely we'll be taking 30 either left or right. I don't, I'm not familiar with... Minneapolis operations, so I don't know which is their tendency. Let's look up where uh, KMSP American gates are. So, American Park Set Terminal 1. So, American 243, clear direct Minneapolis Airport. Direct Minneapolis, American 243. American 730 Minneapolis Center. Delta 669, clear direct zipper. So, all, zipper, Delta like, 669. look at that. Our entire like flight plan is just gone. Because <laughs> now we're going direct. Okay, I mean, sure. <laughs> uh... So, well, I mean, <laughs> we're going direct, so that's that's actually really nice, but also kind of disorientating because there isn't, I'm used to, you know, following an arrival, but it's fine. Yeah, we're just cruising along. 
Oh, you got people in the Discord. Hold on. Maybe I should pop in for a quick second. I don't know. Let's see if I can even. Uh, Albert. It's Lua. It's Lua. Uh, American 243, say your airspeed. American 243, we're going Mac 0.78. American 243, maintain Mach 0 0.80 or greater for spacing Minneapolis. All right, we'll maintain Mach 0.80 or greater for 243. American 730, Minneapolis Center. All right, they want us to go faster. trying to get us there in record time. Let's see, can we go Mac point eight two? Maybe. That's like right on the edge there. Zeta Stargazer, why you joined Discord? Since I'm back at seven three zero, we I tried, level but three it, four zero. I couldn't. Seven thirty Minneapolis Center, Roger. What are you direct? Oops. I'm currently direct C Mac. American 730, Roger, and, uh, okay, uh, were you given that by the previous controller, or did you do that on your own? That's just, um, what's part of the approach for the KKLR uh, approach. Yeah, I see you have it loaded from Kama, though. Kama would have taken you Kama, Beery, Robbie, Cable, so did, did you have any of those fixes? Uh, that's, uh, negative, uh, we didn't have any of those in our FMS. Okay, uh, just make sure you're looking at the chart following what matches your flight plan off the chart, though. American 730, clear direct Minneapolis at this time. Uh, clear direct to Minneapolis, American 730. Okay. Are we uh, canceling the star then? Uh, it's affirmative, direct the airport. Direct the airport, American 730. Okay. Anyways, uh, Zeta Stargazer, to answer your question, um, I tried to join. American Air United 215 Minneapolis Center. It's because of audio settings. I couldn't hear you guys. I couldn't transmit. It's because I've got OBS taking my microphone. I've got the uh, network taking my microphone. I don't think it wanted to let Discord take my microphone, so I couldn't. I tried, but it didn't work. So. United 215 radar Usually contact it, four six miles does, west of But I'm not sure. I didn't want to mess with it live. United 439 flight, so. Minneapolis Center. Ident. Sorry, sorry if I scared you guys. <laughs> yeah, American 730, yeah, when you load the arrival in the FMC, make sure you select the transition from Kama. That'll fill in all those fixes. This guy's yeah, we, um, the, the Kama transition actually never appeared. Um, we only had, um, I can bring it up here, uh, but the Kama transition never actually appeared on the FMC. Interesting. Yeah, that it, it should have it. If it has the arrival, it should have all of the all of the entry points. <laughs> oh boy. It could also be because I have Discord stream. American right? 730. Out of curiosity, which simulator are you on? I think you can guess. <laughs> That's, yeah, okay, that explains it. Uh, he's flying on MSFS probably, that's why. UPS 64, contact Chicago Center 134.87, good day. 4487, UPS 64, we'll see it. Anyways, Zeta Stargazer, per the request of ETC, we are pushing pedal to the metal, as you can see here. We are redlining it. And we have officially redlined it. <laughs> Speaking of redlining... <laughs> Speaking of redlining, the overspeed alarm goes off. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh yeah, I'm gonna nod and just go with it. Yeah, yeah. We are going. We were going Mac decimal seven eight times the speed of sound, and they asked us to go point eight or faster. So 
they're really putting us in a tight corner here. American 243, descent of pilots, discretion, maintain 10,000, 10,000, Minneapolis altimeter to 3007, and you can resume normal speed. Descent at our discretion to 10,000, altimeter to 3007, we'll resume normal speed for American 243. United 439, radar contact 51 miles northwest of O'Neill, code direct Minneapolis airport. United 215, if I didn't give it to you already, clear direct Minneapolis Airport. Direct Minneapolis Airport, United 215. Alright. Now we're going to start our descent. So we'll be arriving at around here. And speed will let the uh, aircraft manage it now by itself. American 730, descent of pilots, discretion, maintain 10,000, Minneapolis, altimeter 3007. Descent of discretion, maintain 10,000, American 730. American 211, descent of pilots, discretion, maintain 10,000, 10,000, Minneapolis, altimeter 3007. Minneapolis Center, duty Delta 4467, flight level 320. Delta 4467, Minneapolis Center, and uh, are you, what are you direct? We're direct killer. Delta 4467, roger, okay. Uh, were you assigned that by Chicago? No, we're just following the flight plan. Okay, well your flight plan says Kama Killer 3, so there's about eight fixes between Kama and Killer that you've skipped. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot to reset my FM my MCU. I forgot about that. My fault. Well, my bad. Delta the forty four sixty seven. That's all right. Click direct Minneapolis Airport when you're able. You would like me to drive Minneapolis Airport? <laughs> This guy is like. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he, this is, he's the pure face of confusion right now. Alright, we're like, flying direct know. now, MSP. We got about 116 nautical miles to go. Uh, Delta 4467, uh, yeah, okay, that sounds, that sounds about right. Okay, are you just gonna give us a runway, a runway to just stay a runway fix before we land? Uh, approach will have that for you when you get closer. Uh, for now, I'm I'm just gonna get you down to one zero thousand here shortly, ten thousand, and then approach will take it from there. So just maintain flight level three two zero, and I'll have lower shortly. Okay, we're heading direct the airport now. We're uh, we'll descend on one zero thousand here in a couple minutes. All right, thanks, Delta. Delta 4467 for now, maintain flight level 320, I will have lower shortly. Yep, I know. Uh, we'll just maintain 320 now. Delta 669, contact Chicago Center 134.87, 3487. 3487, nice work, Drew. See you. See you. Alright, that seems like... United 439, same Mach number. Seems like it's this guy's capping up. United 439 heavy able, Mach point eight two or greater. Uh, we can try, we'll let you know. United 439 maintain Mach point eight two or greater if unable advised. United 215, what's your Mach number? 215 is rocket point seven. United 215, spacing Minneapolis do not exceed Mach point seven six. Okay, there we go. I think I lowered his volume, so it might be easier to hear me now. So I just figured out a good balance. So we're just slowly descending our way down the flight level. 
or not fly level. Delta 4467, descent on pilot's discretion, maintain 10,000. Minneapolis altimeter 3007. Maintain 10,000. Uh, at our discretion, 3007, Delta 4467. Delta 7286, descent on pilot's discretion, maintain 10,000. 10, Minneapolis altimeter 3007. Pilot discretion, maintain uh, one zero ten thousand and uh, three zero zero seven. Look at the uh, eight as well, Delta seventy seventy six. Oh, I'm looking at the. Oh, I'm looking at the. Wait, am I hearing myself? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, okay. The next guy I'm gonna be handed to next, he's actually- I was sorry, I got distracted. I'm, I was checking up one thing. The next guy I'm gonna be handed to is actually a guy live streaming right now. His name is ground underscore point underscore niner. He's, uh, so... Because I know this guy, this is... And I, I'm looking, I actually see American my... 243, contact Minneapolis approach, 124.7, good night. 2470 for American 243, good night. Good night. Minneapolis, Archie, 914, 22, requesting IFR flight clearance, still here? I'm gonna try the tower on 126.7. Doesn't appear to be online, but we'll try on B9. Couple twenty one zero one turn left heading three three zero advise me yeah, this is right. flight rolling on that heading ten to eleven o'clock and one five all. Minneapolis approach American two for three with you fly level one nine or five for one zero or one zero thousand. American two forty three Minneapolis approach good evening runway three zero left or right a visual approach advise which runway you prefer Minneapolis altimeter three zero. Zero seven one three three zero one eight. I'll have more information here for you shortly. Trying to work on the ADA. All right, no problem. I'll turn to three zero three zero zero seven, and we'll take any runway for American two forty three. American two forty three. It's entirely up to you. Uh, you guys typically park Echo Gate, so you might want the right side for faster text. All right, we'll take the right side then for American two forty three. Like that. All right. Delta 2101, Roger. Uh, fly heading 330 to join final clear. Visual bridge, runway 30 left, maintain 170 knots or greater until Narco. Narco, final approach fix, Narco, N A R C O. We need 9 8 Papa, turn right heading 210. Battery pop rolling on that heading, your traffic to follow 2 o'clock, 5 miles north westbound, the wake 737, 4000, depending on the bus. And the uh, 7 3 3 continue right turn heading 270 to join final, follow the Boeing 737, caution, wake turn to listen to the visual approach, runway 30 left, number 2. Okay, turning on 270, and the Boeing 737, number 2. Oh, the workload, the workload is high. <laughs> the stress is high. American 243, just going to maintain 7,000. The Senate maintains 7,000, American 243. <coughs> Alright, landing lights on, taxi lights on, seatbelt signs on, wing lights on, uh, throw auto lights on, auto lights are on. <laughs> Okay, every single light is on, if I can turn Approach American 730, with you at flight level 180. Delta 2101, contact Minneapolis Tower 126.7, good night. Approach Tower 126. For 9 or 8, Papa, the uh, 73 traffic showing 160 over the ground there. Start reducing, um, you have to see 150 knots or less uh, until the final approach six there. Just keep good space there. Contact Minneapolis Tower 126.7. American 243, lighting 240, just a brief vector for your descent, just to maintain 4,000. Uh, left heading 240 and down to 4,000, American 243. American 
730 Minneapolis Bush Breezy, we're checking in. Delta's current, advise that you've got that. Runway 30 right, expect a visual approach. 30 right, expect a visual approach, American 730. So just uh, heads up to you, I've had reports of moderate mixed dry mice below uh, 17.5 through 95 or so in the descent. Uh, you guys might pick that up. Uh, the conditions are improving though, however, outside air temperature minus 10 that was reported by multiple cool. aircraft additionally. Uh, Boeing 737 traffic about um, 10 minutes ago reported a loss of 15 knots at 2500 on the runway 30 left final. I uh, will note that down. Thanks for your help, American 730. Alright, we got some good weather information. You can kind of see Minneapolis here, I think. So, Zeta Stargazer, here's the scenery you're looking for. Look at that. Still in clouds, but... So we're going to get a visual approach, so... Let's go ahead and bong the... Oh, clouds. We're in clouds. <laughs> yes, quite nice. We're in clouds again. Also, these streets that you see, um, X-Plane 11 is... Um, the, it's, these streets are accurate, so... American 243, expect a brief vector across the localizer. I'll put you back on here in a couple moments. Say again for 243. American 243, vectors across the localizer for your descent. I will turn you back on shortly. Alright, we'll expect vectors for the localizer for American 243. American 730, fly heading 270, intercept runway 30 right, localizer track inbound, descend to maintain 5000. Descend to maintain 5000 and track 270 to intercept the localizer 30 right, American 730. American 243, turn right at 330, intercept runway 30 right, localizer track inbound, advise when you have Minneapolis Airport in sight. Right, 330, we'll look for the localizer and let you know we have the airport in sight, American 243. American 211, Minneapolis approach at Delta's current, advise when you've got that, runway 30 left or right, your choice, advise which runway you prefer. Alright, folks, in the chat, we, I might not really catch you guys. It's very busy right now. Delta 544, climb to maintain flight level 230. 230, Delta 544. American 211, uh, proceed right to Bana on the runway 30 right localizer. That's the 5,000 foot step down six. American 211, affirm direct Bana, that's the 5,000 foot step down fix, 30 right localizer. Direct Bana from American 211. American 243, advise uh, the field in sight, rolling out on the 330, heading at 11 o'clock and 20 miles, and uh, you'll probably want to expedite your descent here a little bit, trying to get you in here, uh, number one. Alright, we're slowing down, we have the field in sight for American 243. American 243, after you're fighting 330 to join final, cleared visual approach runway at 30 right. All right, we'll join the final and clear for the visual for 30 right, American 243. American 730, company traffic to follow 12 o'clock, 10 miles northwest bound. A uh, A321 descending out of 8,500. Visual and traffic, American 730. American 730, follow the Airbus, cleared visual for runway 30 right, number two. Maintain 210 knots for sequence, 210 or better for now, 210 or better. Maintain 210 and follow the traffic in, American 730. Approach, easy, Delta All right, we'll try to seven. slow down here. Setting out at 23,000 for 10,000. Uh, we're just heading direct MSP right now. Delta 544, contact Minneapolis Center 133.4, good. 1234, see you later, Delta 544. American 211, decided to maintain 7,000. Delta 4467, Minneapolis Approach, Delta is current. Advise when you get Delta, runway 30 left or right. Advise which runway you prefer. We'll take runway 30 right. Actually, no, we're programmed for 30 left. We'll take runway 30 left and then we'll, um, yeah, program 30 left, we have Delta. 4467, expect runway 30 left. Uh, let's go direct to, uh, 
Bez on the runway 30 left to localizer. That's the 4,000 foot step down fix, and the Sundat pilot's discretion maintain 4,000. Direct A Bez, uh, pilot's discretion maintain 4,000, direct 44, or uh, Delta 4467. Approach American 730, confirm we are doing 30 right. American 738 for everyone. Again, clear to visual pressure runway 30 right to follow your company Airbus. Following company Airbus, uh, 30 right, visual approach, American 730. American at 243, maintain a 170 knots or greater until 5 mile final contact Minneapolis Tower on 126.7. Good night. 170 until a 5 mile final and we'll contact Tower with 2670, American 243. Minneapolis Tower, American 243, with you, uh, visual approach, 30 right. American 243, Minneapolis Tower, good evening, runway 30 right, clear to land, the wind 280. Clear to land, 30 right, American 243. Alright folks, we're clear to land, perfect. And I'm just trying to slow down as much as we can here. So we can get down. Um, lock, star... Let's go, speed check, flaps three, gear down, so we can slow down, because this plane is... Zeta Stargazer, as you can see, Minneapolis has sprawled out before us. As I try to yank this aircraft... Windy Nottery Papa, welcome to Minneapolis St. Paul. Uh, exit left when you're able, and uh, text. Taxi to signature via whiskey. This frequency of good night. Nope, 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 nope. You too. It's kind of a steep approach here. And speed check flaps full. All right, we're hand flying this right now. So, Tower, November six nine, Juliet's with you. How do you read me? We're a little high November on the localizer. November six nine, Juliet, loud and clear. How many? There's no ground, so we'll stay on this frequency. Okay, we have. No, I'm making seven three zero. We're with you on final um, three zero right. American 730, Minneapolis Tower, good evening. Uh, number 2 font A321, ahead of you, runway 30 right, clear to land. 30 right, and 2 in line, clear to land, American 730. Minneapolis Tower, United 13, Oh my god, just let me enter the speed. United 14, 22, Minneapolis ground, roger, runway 30 left, taxi. Actually, it's the, fine. Uh, let's go Delta, Alpha, Alpha 1. Delta, Alpha, Alpha. Ooh, don't crash, yeah. yeah. Especially since we're flying online, so. Alright, cabin, check. Uh, Minneapolis Tower, November 6, Nara Juliet. Spoilers. Arm. Uh, to O'Hare Airport. Spoilers, Nara Juliet, Roger, clearance, send a question at my one. Alright, folks, we are on our final approach. Let's try to make this a nice landing here for everyone. For 6 Nader Juliet, you're clear to the O'Hare International Airport by the Rochester One Departure Rochester. Look at all these cars zooming by on this intersection, on this Departure highway. Squawk We're a little to the left of the localizer. 1,000. 1,000, Clear for the uh, FR departure via Rochester One to Rochester. Um, Just look outside the cabin. Feet with the Sid departure. Actually, uh, we'll replay the landing at the end. So. November 6, Nine Juliet. Little Six low. Nine Juliet read back is uh, mostly correct, so it'll be Rochester One departure, Rochester transition. Uh, that's the way we word it. Uh, you're not going to go directly to Rochester right off the bat. It'll be one of the fixes that departure assigns. So Rochester One departure, Rochester transition, departure one two four point seven twenty four seven. Rest read back right. Five hundred. Roger, thanks for the help, uh, number 6 on Juliet. Hey, that's what we're here for, not a problem, and uh, readback is correct. Push to your discretion, and uh, advise ready to taxi, expect runway 30 left. Advise when ready to taxi, uh, expect runway 30 left, 6 on Juliet. What was that speed increase there? That was interesting. 400. 
Terrain. Alright, we're gonna be coming in a little... 100 50 40 30 20 Retard Overcorrected. Long landing, Ten, long landing. Five. Acceptable. Eighty knots. Reverser is closed. Manual braking. Start the clock again. All right, we'll go ahead and take this exit here. Strobe lights off. Minneapolis Tower, American 243, uh, clear of runway 308. American 243, welcome to Minneapolis, and uh, turn left on taxiway Papa, cross runway 4, and uh, where are you parking today? Left on Papa, we'll cross runway 4, and we'll park wherever American parks in Minneapolis, American 243. American 243, right? All right, look at that. You got, we were number one, guys. Hey, yeah, thanks, Jason. Strobe lights on. We were number one for landing, so you can see. We pat. We he's tried to really throw us in there in front of everyone, so we get in nice and fast. So we made it. We're in the number one arrival from O'Hare into Minneapolis. And there's, so you can see this guy's landing, there'll be another guy landing right after that. I think there's like three more people, three more of us. American 243, make the uh, next right turn. This could be taxi, Delta Taxi southbound on, uh, actually, you know what, it looks like that's Charlie. Right turn on Charlie. And then uh, the next available left is going to be uh, bringing to the Echo Gates. So I'll give you a progressive as you go along here. All right, American 243, uh, we'll make a hangar right here on Charlie and we'll... Uh, stay posted for more instructions for 243. American 243, continue southbound on Charlie. Just be uh, another intersection or two and I'll, I'll get you over. Alright, we'll continue southbound on Charlie for American 243. Uh, tower American 730, our sin is frozen, so I think uh, you can call this landed. <laughs> American 730, not a problem, sir. Happens to the best of us, no worries. Have a good rest of the night and uh, hopefully we'll see you back in Minneapolis. This is All a nice tower. Out. I like this guy. Anytime, take care. Alright, we'll start our APU. APU coming on. Strobe lights yeah, off. Mark, uh, make that United 1422 Minneapolis Tower. Good evening, runway 30 left. Clear for takeoff, turn left, heading 260. The uh, wind 2830. Clear for takeoff, turn left, heading 260, United 14. American 211, no need to acknowledge. Traffic departs the parallel, heading south and west on a E320. Oh, you guys can see we got Delta here. Oh, Americans here. Um, it's fine. He knows where we need to go, so. We'll... Hey, Minneapolis Tower, Brickyard 3750, with information Delta ready to taxi. Brickyard 3750, Minneapolis, Star Roger, runway trees are left taxi via Alpha, Alpha 1. 3 zero left via Alpha, Alpha 1. I feel Brickyard like we should be making left here. But... American 243, left turn when able, and then uh, it's going to be a head into your left once you're eastbound on that taxiway. I believe that's Charlie 1 for you there. Uh, so head into your left, that's Echo Gates anywhere there. All right, I figured. Uh, we'll take a left here, and we'll head into the Echo Gates for American 243. Thanks, and have a good night. You too, take care.
Minneapolis Towers, this is Delta 227, uh, requesting taxi to 30 left. Delta G27, Roger, runway 30 left, taxi via Alpha, Alpha 1. Uh, Delta 227, uh, Alpha, Alpha 1. Um, are there many ground, uh, or many tower, hello, it's American 145 with Delta clearance O'Hare. Is that Echo? Yeah, this is Echo 5. Alright, folks, we'll park in Echo 5. Um, taxi lights off, so we don't blind the marshaller if there is one. I don't think we do, so that's fine. United 1422, contact departure, have a good flight, we'll see you. Over to departure, good day, United 1422. Call for their clearance, is that American 145? It was. American 145, clearance, I'm going to stand by one. May have to cheat here and look outside to make sure we're parked in the right spot. And stop. Parking brake set. We'll throw on our lights here, making sure our APU is available. And seatbelt signs off. Beacon lights off. Strobe lights off. And yeah. Hooray! Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. 7,800. At Minneapolis. Um, before we finish the stream, actually, so I'm gonna first disconnect. I'm gonna disconnect from that soon. And we are. Okay, let's make sure it doesn't open any of these doors. Close, 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 close. Don't open these doors. Yeah, Zeta Stargazer, I made it. In here, you know what? Before you leave, don't close Twitch yet. Um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna replay that landing here. We're gonna watch it. We're gonna see how that landing looked. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. Um, let's take this view. Zoom ahead a little bit. Alright. Um, I think this is we're playing at like two times speed right now see so this part i don't know why it started going full throttle so i took manual control and tried to push it down myself 100. oh 100. here let's go to this view all right here's what it looked if you were a passenger on board stay the stargazer or anyone else lurking you can see the nice beautiful Minneapolis lights in the background. And then there's this one highway here. Alrighty. Floated a little bit. It was a long landing. And touchdown. Ooh, it was kind of hard. But, nevertheless, you can see we made it in one piece. So, if we go backwards again. Let's do a different view. Let's go from behind the wing. Yeah, this was not a great landing, but yeah, I pull I overreacted. You can see I pulled back a little too much, but and then yeah, it was kind of a thumper. Not not the best, but let's put, zoom back a little more. This is how it looked if we were to be outside. Oops. Ooh, yeah, look at that here. Just watch the landing gear here. Boom! It wasn't a terribly hard landing, but... But yeah, 
Um, here, let's exit replay mode. So, yeah, and then here is where we'll actually call the flight finish. So, thank you for everyone tuning in. Um, I hope this was a um, kind of an impromptu, out of the spur of the moment stream. So, thank you everyone for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one. I tried. It... No, it's okay. I, I'm kind of glad there wasn't a lot of people because, oh my god, did you hear how busy the radios were? <laughs> it was just non-stop chatter. It was it was busy. There was like so there were like five. So all like I guess in on a Sunday evening. Six or seven of us random people around the world thought it was a good idea to fly from O'Hare to Minneapolis at the same time. <laughs> totally uncoordinated, but we basically had a big group flight. And I was number one for landing, which was a privilege. I, yeah, I know. I, it's, it, was, it wasn't a great landing, but at least we made it to one piece. <laughs> you know you can drift in the air, so... A barrel roll? Um, technically, you know, actually any plane can do it. It's, there's a thing called a 1G barrel roll, which doesn't stress the plane out in any way. It just looks really scary. I might try that. I might try that. Oh, yeah, that one, um, there, here's the thing, if I fly upside down too long, it's, I don't think it's a fuel-injected engine, so it's gonna, the fuel's gonna literally drop out of the engine, <laughs> and it might, st that's it, so there's this, um, there's a really famous plane called, in, like, I think it was World War Two. it was a P-51 Mustang, and the Pilots kept flying, trying to fly upside down, and it, it, the engine kept quitting. So they had to install a fuel injector. 